And faces like it's gonna seize Ho! Some fans of Fred Bilson on them Whoa! On my own, watch my nose Brain Stewart by Green Day. See what I did there? What I'd like to do is teach you the song. Yes, it's an easy one. I know. I know. It's easy. Look, guys, I make a lot of videos. Sometimes I want to make an easy one, and I like Green Day, and this is from my childhood when I was but a child in the world. This song is not in standard tuning. You need to tune down a half step. That being said, guys, I did it again. I'm st I did not tune down. I'm in standard tuning. I'm going to teach the song in standard tuning, but... My trademark tuning tip, if you're like, but Uncle Stewart, I want to tune down a half step and I don't know how to do it. There's two ways that you can do it. There's probably a bunch of ways. You can just tune to E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat using your tuner. Another thing you can do though, put a capo on the first fret and then using whatever tuning thing you do, go into standard tuning then take the capo off and you are magically in de E flat tuning, tune down a half step. Great. Mostly it's this one, let's just go, uh, hi, okay. Let's look, here's the deal, let's learn the song. Please play five on the top string with your pointer finger. Also additionally as well, put your pinky on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. Another thing you need to do is you need to mute the bottom four strings. So I have my pointer finger, I'm pushing on the top, but then this part of my pointer finger is just touching the bottom five strings. I'm not pushing on the bottom five, I'm just touching. So you get that muted sound. My pinky, as I said, is on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. My pinky often will also be touching those bottom four strings, guys. This is an A5 chord. Five is just a fancy way of saying power chord. It's very fancy. Look at how sophisticated we are saying five over here. On this chord, you're going to just strum down twice like this. I was not I was not trying to hit all six strings. I'm trying to just play the top two strings inevitably without any inev in inevitably without any inevitable application, I will probably hit other strings as well, but the good news is I'm muting them so it doesn't matter. Guys, another thing that has happened, I've made this so complicated already. I told myself this whole video is going to be like five minutes long max, and we're already like five minutes in and I've done oh, one chord. Guys, welcome to the channel. Consider liking and subscribing. They're not all like this. They're all, well, okay. All the tutorials are pretty much like this. After we go down, down, cut off the sound immediately. So I do two things. One, this hand over here, I go from playing, like pushing on the chord to going like this. What I do there is my pointer finger and my pinky just relax. They don't come all the way off the string, but I just stop pushing. You can't, like, can you see a little bit? Look, look, pushing, not pushing. See that, that little change. Then I take these fingers and I just lay them gently on the string. So now all the strings are muted. So then, whoa, I missed the string. So then you go, See how it just cuts them off like that? But I do another thing as well. With this hand over here, as soon as I'm done strumming, I just karate chop the strings, and that also shuts them up. So I have redundancies upon redundancies here to cut off the sound. We want total and complete silence after we strum the chord. So it goes like this. <laughs> Guys, we have so much fun over here. After you do that chord, that, what was it called? That's right, A5. So fancy. Guys, you're gonna take the same chord shape, but you're gonna move it one, two frets over. So now you're on three and five, and you do the exact same thing. Then you're gonna go to two and four and do the exact same thing. Let's practice those three chords all together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Silence. Great job. Let's do it one more time. Three, four, up. Then you're going to go to one and three. So the same shape, that same power chord shape. You act like you're going to do the exact same thing. But after only one beat of silence, you're going to go to this chord here, an E power chord. Top string is open. 
pointer flanger, I call it a flanger sometimes, guys, your pointer flanger is going to play second fret on the second string from the top. Your pointer finger is also going to mute all the other strings, and we go, so same exact thing, we're just doing it a little faster, so it ends up going, see that? But uh, hey, oh, guys, let's play the entire riff all the way through. One, two, one, two, three, four. Whoop. Oh, Whoa. you did fine. You did fine. We want. We would like it to be a little tighter. That's. It's the song has a very tight sound. Tight, tight, tort. Guys, what's gonna happen here? As I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to make a bold statement. Some of you may be thinking, that's not how I think that this song is played. I think it's with three fingers. I think it's pointer finger, ring finger, and pinky. Yeah, well, guess what? We're gonna have to disagree to agree. To agree to disagree here, because I think you're wrong. I think you should be ashamed of yourself. I believe it's only a two finger power chord for this song. I don't know why. Is the camera going crazy? Or is that me? Am I? Hi guys, my name's Stuart. Did I tell you to subscribe? I did. Okay, great. We have now completed the main riff to the song. A riff is just a short, repeated, rhythmic guitar part, which is exactly what that is, and it repeats throughout almost the entire song. Let us play the introduction, which is that main riff, dos times in a row. That's Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. One, two. Oh, one, two, here we go. Whoa. Oh. What? Why'd you leave the keys upon the table? I didn't, I only named the first chord. This was an A power chord. This one is a G power chord, G5, F sharp 5, F5, and E5. Okay, now you know. You can tell all your friends the names of those chords. Ah, after the introduction, we go to the verse. The verse is just the main riff, cuatro times, Spanish for four. The next part of the song is the interlude number one. Now, this song doesn't really have like a chorus. It sort of just has verse, then interlude, verse, then interlude. So this, this interlude is kind of like the chorus, but I'm gonna call it the interlude. It's interlude number one. Guys, interlude number one, literally the exact same riff, two more times. It's exactly the same as the intro, exactly the same as the verse. Then we get to the verse number two. Verse number two is exactly the same as verse number one, except he sings a bad word in verse number two. So when you were a kid, you either had to turn up the volume at this part or turn it way down, depending on who else was around. Then we go to interlude number two. Now interlude number two is where it starts getting spicy because we've got those muted string harmonics going on. So here's what you do. You play the regular riff, but with some differences. We want it to go like this. So the way we get all that noise in between the chords is we play what are called harmonics. Sometimes you want to be really careful with harmonics. With this song, we want to be as sloppy as possible. So here's what happens. After the chord, after you play the chord, well, okay, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. For the interlude number two, when you play the chord, instead of strumming down, down, we want to strum down, up. Doesn't seem like a big deal. I'm telling you, it's a big deal. So you strum down, up, then you loosen your grip over here on the chord. You want your fingers touching the strings, but not hard at all. Just like barely touching the strings. And then you're gonna strum down, up, down, up, down, up. So that was six strums total. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter exactly where your fingers are touching the strings. What matters is that you're just not pushing and that you're touching each and every string. Let's try that whole thing. So we're gonna go down, up on the chord and then immediately with no pause, no hesitation, we're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, here we go. And chord, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, one more time. Down, up, down, up, down. Great job, guys. If yours sounds like this, that means you're pushing too hard. You don't really wanna push at all, you just wanna touch. If yours sounds like this, 
That means you're not actually touching all the strings. One or more of the strings, we're just hearing the open string instead of that muted harmonic -y sound, guys. All right. Um, let's go ahead and do that same muted harmonic strum thing in between each power chord. So that means we go down, up. Does that make sense, guys? Let's do it. One, two, not too fast, and... I'm doing it twice. I didn't tell you I was gonna do that. Another thing, if you don't have a lot of gain on your amp, like a bunch of distortion, those harmonics are not gonna quite sound right, but it'll still sound good, so it's not a big deal. Can you tell how much I just lost interest in doing this? All right, so for the interlude, you do the riff twice with those muted harmonic strums in between. Then we get to verse number three. Verse number three is exactly like verse number one, exactly like verse number two. You just are doing that main riff, no harmonics, no muted strings, none of that stuff. Then we get to interlude number three. Interlude number three is exactly the same as interlude number two. Two, with the harmonic muty strums, you guys. Then we get to verse number four. Verse number four is a little bit different. We wanna add some muted strums, but not like the interludes. Way more muted and subdued and quiet. Sounds like this. Watch, one, two, three, four. <laughs> You see what I did there? Guys, you do the regular chord, you go down, down, then you want to actually like mute all the strings. So that means you take all four fingers, put some pressure on the strings, but not enough to like push on any of the frets, just enough to like subdue all the strings. And it sounds like this. Pretty muted, right? And then you're gonna strum down, up, then you wait for half a beat and then strum down, up again. So it goes, down, 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 up, down, up. One, two, play with me. Just like that, one more time. Then you do the same thing on the third fret for the G5 chord. Same thing on the second fret. Then you get to the first fret and you just go down, down, mute, mute. Then you go to the E5 chord, down, down. Take these fingers, touch all the strings, down, up. Okay, that is verse four. Three, two, one, verse four. I was right the first time. Uh, let's go ahead and do that twice in a row. One, two, three, four. Great job. Well, apparently we've reached the no fun allowed part of the tutorial. You do that riff three times all the way through exactly like that. Then we start it a fourth time, but watch this. See what I did there? I went five, five, mute, 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 mute. Then I went mute, 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 mute. Then, guys, what I did after that is I just went two, two, two. So it's power chord on the second fret, just down, down, down. Then I went like this. So I just played two on the top string, slid up to, it doesn't really matter where. I would aim for the 14th fret, but it's not a big deal. And then you just slide right back down. Just then we're gonna play power chord on the first fret and you just go down, up, down, up. Then you go to the E5, down, up, down. So that was two, 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 down, down, down. Let's play that whole fourth time through the riff. One, two, three, four. I, I forgot to do the part that we were, that was the whole point of the whole thing. One, two, one more try. Oh, so guys, you did so great with that on the first try, so impressive. Then we get to the ending. Ending, uh, in the actual recording, I think they have two different guitars layered on top of each other. When they do it live, I think they have the second guitar do this, or he just leaves this out. What, what I'm trying to say is we're going to kind of 
do a little bit of twerk tweaking, um, tweaking with this uh, to make it work for one guitar. What you're gonna do is you're gonna play five on the top string with your pointer finger. Then I want you to take your ring finger, put it on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. Take your pinky, put it on the seventh fret of the third string from the top. Take your middle finger, put it on the sixth fret of the third string from the bottom. Make sure your pointer finger is not touching the bottom two strings. And then here's another thing I want you to do. I want you to, when you play the first two strums of this chord, I don't actually want you to play the chord. I just want you to play the top string. I just want you to go like that. This ending is like, has a heavier sound than the rest of the song. And uh, what's the word for when something's not the way you think it's going to be? Um, mis not misleading, not inappropriate, not... Uh, the word is when you think that things should be a way that they're not. That is called counterintuitively. Counterintuitively, by playing less strings, you end up getting a heavier sound. So we just want to hammer the top string on the fifth fret twice. Well, this is unfortunate because I don't think I have any spare strings with me and I don't know what to do. Okay. So you're just gonna do two big strums, aiming for that top string. Then I want you to aim for the bottom two strings, those two open strings, and I want you to strum down, down, up. So that was top string, down, down, up. One, two, here we go. Top string, down, down, up. One more time, guys. Top string, down, down, up. Then move this chord to the third fret. Do the same thing. Second fret, do the same thing. Then go to the first fret and just go bah, bah. Then take this chord, slide it over like that. Get rid of your pointer finger, slide these over, go bah, bah. Then start the whole thing over again. That ending riff there, we do that six times. After we do it six times, then we just go back to this first chord and go And we just let that sustain forever. Let's play that whole ending. One, two, here we go, and That's enough. Guys, we did it. Only destroyed one guitar string. Everything's good. I'm very happy. I'm feeling good. I'm in the holiday spirit, and I hope that you are not um, afraid of ghosts. <laughs> oh! Where?